Hi guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So a lot of you know that I was recently in Korea for two weeks because I was doing plastic surgery. I got a nose job and today is my two week anniversary from the date I did my surgery, I believe. Um, and yeah, so this is what it looks like right now. Let me just give you a quick update. So the nose bridge is still kind of numb to the tip. So if I touch it like that, it's still kind of like I don't really feel anything um, but overall all the swelling has gone down like I'm able to put on makeup now and if I look to the side you can see that everything is not as swollen but still keep in mind that a rhinoplasty takes like a year to see the full results so it's only been like I don't know like a tiny fraction of that so yeah please don't think that this is the final result like there's still a lot of swelling around the tip area and along the AR so they will deswell very soon but like i said i was in korea for two weeks and with the time off that i got my doctor actually told me to walk around and do lots of shopping and exploring to help these swell so i actually went shopping duh like who goes to korea and not shop like anyway i got so much so much kbd stuff that i thought i would just share with all of you i did a poll on my insta story one day and i was like who wants to see a k-beauty haul and like it surprised me that like over 90 percent of you guys said yes so here it is are you guys ready for this i'm going to separate them into like categories so first let me just talk about lenses because i'm wearing this lens right now i don't know if you guys can tell but these are actually a gray lens and let me just tell you which one I'm wearing right now. This one is the Secris. Secris. Secris one day contact lens in coral gray. So this is what I'm wearing right now. And I also got another one. This is another daily lens. This is the Spanish Circle one day lens circle gray and jenny from blackpink is the ambassador for this particular color so i cannot wait to try this out let me know if you guys want to do like a detailed review or anything of any of the products i'm mentioning now because i'm more than happy to do a review on any of these um also this is my all-time favorite i haven't actually tried it but i wanted to get this color so bad it looks really weird because it's a green colored lens but um this one is actually the one that lisa is wearing and I love Lisa so much so when I saw her wearing this I'm like okay if she can rock green I'm gonna rock green too so yeah I bought it this is the um, symphony lens in three con green so this is what it looks like yeah so like on the picture it doesn't look super like vibrant so you're not gonna look like the green lantern or anything like that but yeah I'm excited to see how this looks like on me um, and then I got the teen teen silver so this is a really really cool one when I saw it on their magazine on the store um, this is kind of like a really really light gray almost like silver color that like when you wear it it's supposed to make it like completely cover up the brown and the darkness of your iris or your pupil and yeah i was so intrigued by this i picked it up and then this one is also a gray one <laughs> i'm apparently like really obsessed with gray lenses i don't know why um this one is a stoneberry gray it's like this is also a monthly lens and then oh this is a cute one so this is the crush collection and this is the color brown Next, I got some nail products. I know it's weird, but for the surgery, I actually had to like clear all polish away from my nails, toes, and feet. So I got these Dashing Diva Press Nails. So these ones are Dashing Diva Magic Press Nails. So I got two sets of them. Here's what they look like. So I got one set that's more like blush and like I really like the marble one here. And this one is like a shimmer one. Yeah, this one is for your toenails and I really like the white and the gold here. I mean, they come in like all shapes and sizes there's like square ones there's sharp ones there's long ones there's super slim ones there's slim ones there's super 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 slim ones i actually haven't had the chance to try any of these um so i don't know how they fit on my toes but i will update you guys let me know if you want me to do a review on them um this one is another one but instead of an actual nail this one is stickers so these ones are for your toes these are the dashing diva gloss gel petty strip ones so they look like this I just got a simple white and sparkle one because that's all I go for. So I think you're supposed to just like peel them off and stick them onto your toes as is. 
and all of these say that they're supposed to last for 14 days or two weeks um can't really read korean on the back of any of these but um i believe that's what the sales lady at the counter told me so okay, moving on to makeup so for makeup i didn't really go too crazy um i just picked up like what was really like missing from my makeup collection or like what i found really really pretty or intriguing um so first of all i got an eyebrow pencil from peri para it looks like this this is the speedy eyebrow pencil Okay, so I opened it and there's like a little like twist open thing. So if you like twist it open, you can see this. So this is the kind of color I got. I think it's like a dark coffee color. Um, so yeah, I'm just picking this up because I'm always looking for a good eyebrow um, pencil or like an eyebrow liner because my eyebrows are like super like, I don't know, they're like, there's not a lot of hair on it. So I need to like fill it in every single day. Um, and also my skin is super oily so whatever i fill it in with it needs to be able to hold and stay the entire day so i tend to go for like pencils and more waxier textures than just like powders because that's gonna just like melt away and like be a nightmare um let me just test out this one i don't know how i feel it's already like being smudged let's see let me try it out on my Instagram stories. Follow me on Instagram if you haven't already because I tend to do one of these like sporadic try-ons on my stories a lot. So yeah, if you want to see how this works, make sure you follow me. And then I also got another eyebrow product. Ugh. This one is the Wake Wake, Wake Make. I think it's a Korean brand and this is supposed to be a tattoo brow set. So it comes with stencils. So this stencil, you're supposed to like use it to like help guide where you put the tattoo. Um, and the actual pencil looks like this. Wake Make. So it's a liquid pen like this. So if you do something like this, it's not supposed to come off. So let's see. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, it's staying. Um, what's on the other side? Oh, okay. So this is like where you draw like individual hairs at the start of your brows. So yeah, this is good for like that fine thing. Awesome. Oh my God. I cannot actually wait to use this. Oh my God. I think I'll, I'll use it like first thing tomorrow and see like how long the tattoo actually stays because I've got like super oily skin and nothing ever stays on me. So yeah. Okay, the next thing I got was, I'm sorry, I had to like rip it. It was so hard to take out of the packaging, but this is the I'm Mimi. I'm Mim. I don't know what that brand is called, but this is one of their eyeshadow palettes. And it looks like this. Let me just take it out. Oh, so it looks like this. So it's super, super compact eyeshadow palette. It looks like this. Never expect. It's holographic. Lucky. <laughs> I don't know. I just really loved it because whenever I travel, I'm missing like a good neutral shade eyeshadow palette with me. So this palette comes with so many different shades and colors. So this one I can use to line my eyes. If I forget my eyeliner, this is a highlighting shade. And all of these are like good for like neutral, like everyday looks. And this is supposed to be a blush, I think. They're all matte shades. So no shimmers, no nothing, but I just think like it's like something I really need. Let me test out this black shade. So if you blend it out, it looks kind of like dark brown. Yeah, I kind of like it. It's like really, really creamy. Okay, and then next I got this super extra thing. Okay, this is supposed to be eyeshadow. It's from the brand Color Gram Talk, like TikTok, Color Gram Talk. And this is supposed to be a milky eyeshadow, the milk bling shadow. So um, I wasn't like going to grab this, but my friend actually picked it up and she tried, like she tried on her hand and she was like screaming in the middle of the store and she was like, oh my God, it's so pretty. And she put it on my hand and I was instantly sold and I'll show you this right now. So it looks like this super super holographic and it looks really bling it's kind of like a champagne color when you just look at it right now but i think it's got like really really fine refracting like pigmentations because it is so so bling okay you ready for this just put it on here so you can see okay this is what it looks like oh 
it just looks so pretty when I put it on like it's so metallic and I can definitely you know what I'll do it on my eyes right now why not okay it just gives that like pop of something pop of color and I just put on like a little bit and it was like super super bling like it was so bling I can't imagine if I put the whole thing on I realize like the Korean style of makeup like a lot of times when I go out and I see girls they actually really really like their shimmery eyeshadows and their sparkle eyeshadows so you won't see a lot of Korean girls with like matte eyes um, a lot of times they really really tend to go for like a shimmery base so okay guys so I picked up a lipstick or like a lip tint this one is from the brand Rom and ND Oh my god, I don't even know how to pronounce this brand, but this is basically a lipstick in the shade Coral Lychee. Coral Lychee. And this. Just do. My hand is getting like so busy. I won't do it here. So it's like a cute little, like corally pinkish color for your lips. Um, oh my god, it smells so good. It smells like strawberry lychee. Oh my god, I want to eat it. I feel like if I have this on my lips, I'll be like eating it. Licking it off. And then next, I, I also got another lipstick from Etude House. This one is Better Lips Talk in the shade Dusty Peach. So the packaging looks like this. That's what it looks like. And you open it, and it just looks like this. Oh, it's so pretty. It's like a really like cute pink color. Oh my god. It's like a Barbie pink almost. I love it. And then I also went to Innisfree and I got some stuff from Innisfree. This store in Gangnam is so big and all the stuff there was so cheap and affordable. So first I got stick matte lip tint. These are all like liquid lipsticks. So you can do like that gradient lips that Koreans love to do so much. So the different shades I got. So a peachy one and a more pink one. I'm not gonna open it because there's just like so much to open still. Um, next I got the No Sebum Blur Primer. So this primer I foresee myself using because my skin is just so so oily. And like right after the surgery, I noticed that like my pores have been like so big and open so, so i'm hoping that this blur primer can help like even things out a bit and i also got a lip peeling booster i actually saw it and i didn't really know what it is but like my lips are so dry all the time and there's like always dead skins on there even though i exfoliate that like all the time so maybe i can put this on and it'll like fall out faster i don't know if you guys know let me know because i don't know what it is i just picked it up because i feel like i might need it this one is oh this is one i'm really excited about this is actually a lip balm so remember how i said that my lips get so dry all the time this cute little lip balm is supposed to like nourish it and like make it like not so dry and like what i really like about it is that it smells so good i'm such a sucker for smell this smells exactly like a peach juice like it's so cute and it's so like oh look at it oh it's got just like that tiny, tiny, tiny bit of tint. Oh my god, it's so... <gasps> I cannot with these lip products. I feel like I'm just like ingesting these like flavor chemicals or whatever they put in them because I just feel like eating all of them. Okay, and then next we have a liquid blush. So this is a liquid coral blush, kind of like a matte coral color. Okay, so we're done with the makeup products. So let's move on to some skincare products. I promise you there's not too much left. Um, you cannot go to Korea and not buy masks because they are like the mask nation. They're like famous for their sheet masks. They like sell all the stores there sell it by like the like the tens. Like you can buy I've seen a girl with like over ten of the ten packs. So she's got like literally a hundred masks in her shopping cart. Kind of crazy but yeah so i picked up these ones because they were on sale i think these were just like a dollar each um they were like super affordable and i just can't wait to try them out because i've heard so many good things about them so yeah this is just the meta heal different types of masks the hydrating one the placenta one which 
I don't know, it sounds kind of gross, but so was the snail trend of, of a while back and I hopped on that, so collagen and then like tea tree oil. So yeah, cannot wait to try these. Um, and this one, I, well, I was recommended this by my friend because it's supposed to be like a pimple thing for your acne. It's like a sticker that you just like put on your pimple. You know what, I have one right here. I might just use it later this, but it's be like a dot pimple that you put and it like heals the pimple while you can put makeup over it because you don't want to be putting makeup directly onto your blemish so yeah this is something that like kind of like does two things in one it like heals it while protects it from your makeup and then i got <laughs> i got some oil blotting paper this is from dhc i know it's not a korean brand but i picked this up because i've heard so much good things about it cannot read a single word on there i know most of it is in korean some of them are in japanese so yeah if you guys know what it says here, like 100% what? Like, I have no idea. <laughs> but yeah, I just picked this up because I need some. Girl. Oh my god. This is how oily I am, you guys. Five minutes after filming. Okay, next up we have a face wash. This is, again, this is a Japanese brand by Festa. Um, but I was really, really into their bubble um, facial cleansers a while back. So when they came up with like a foaming whip that you just like, it just like comes out straight as bubbles. You don't have to like lather into like bubbles or anything. Um, I picked this up. So I'm actually really, really looking forward to this. I have used this brand before and it like worked super well. So yeah, cannot wait to try this one. And I also picked up um, this brand, it's called CosRx. I actually haven't heard of this brand before I went to Korea, but um, I did a story and so many people were like, try their products. So I went and I tried out their oil-free ultra moisturizing lotion. So this one was like one of the most popular things in the store. And the sales lady was telling me that this is awesome for oily skin. So I picked it up. I'm gonna try it out tonight and let you guys know what I think in my Instagram stories. So yeah, make sure you check it out on there. I also got this set. I think it's by the brand AHC. I haven't actually heard of them before, but they were doing a promotion and this was on sale and it's pink, so I grabbed it. Um, so there's a cleaning foam cleanser in there and there's also like a makeup remover, I wanna say. So it's kind of like a one plus one deal where like you like buy one and get the other one free. So I picked it up um, into super, super into any sort of like foaming cleansing mousse that comes out straight as bubbles. So if you guys know a good one, feel free to let me know. Um, and then the final thing I got was this whitening strip. I don't know why I just like picked this up. Um, I actually shared it with my friend because it was part of a buy one get one deal. So she got one and I got the package. Um, but it's just supposed to just like stick them on your teeth. They're supposed to work like any whitening strips. So you just like stick them on your teeth and wait a few minutes and then take them off and your teeth supposed to be like white. Okay you guys, so we've come to the end of my community haul. So these are just what I got while I was in Korea. Um, if you guys want me to do an in-depth review on any of them make sure you leave me a comment in the comment box down below and also give this video a thumbs up so i can film more stuff like this in the future i'll talk to you guys later